Hi guys, Daniel here from Cycling Strength and Performance and I just want to make a quick video to answer a few questions that I've got in. Okay, so these are pretty common questions that I often get asked and I thought if one person is asking them, more than likely a lot more people want to know the answers, okay? So, first of all, John asks, Hey Dan, at the moment I am finding it hard to get motivated. How can I get back to being fully motivated again? So basically, um, there's a few things here that can be the problem, okay? Uh, first of all, I would say like making sure that you have the correct clothing. Um, as the weather is bad at the moment, like making sure that you've got the correct clothing to be going out in the winter. Otherwise, uh, subconsciously, you can have these thoughts of, oh, it's really miserable out there, and if I go out, I'm going to be freezing, okay? If you've got the right clothes, um, then there, there won't be a problem, okay? Another thing there as well with that is, you know, being comfortable on the bike, making sure that your position is is comfortable and that you've been uh, fitted by a professional. A lot of the time, people are uncomfortable on the bike and, you know, they, they think about going on the bike and it's not as, you know, things like a bit of discomfort or something like that might be putting them off. So that's another thing. Okay. Um, as well with that, um, having some sort of a goal. So are you training for an event? Um, or, or what's your goal, what's your main reason why you're doing it, okay? So make sure you get that um, nailed down. And if you don't have a goal, just book or just uh, just uh, get some sort of an event that, to, to aim for, okay? Um, just book an event and, and train for that. Um, another thing is like not having a plan to follow. So just make sure that you actually have a proper plan um, in place for your training so that you know what to do and that you have something to stick to okay that can be a huge thing um, and if you need to also then have some sort of accountability okay have, have a coach of some sort if, if that's what you need <clears throat> okay so uh, the next question is from Dominic he says what is the best food to have for a 100k cycle um, so basically what I always say is try to keep as natural as possible okay so your food sources always want to be pretty natural stuff okay i mean bars and gels and stuff is okay but i i always try and keep to the ho wholest of foods okay the most natural foods so something like bananas um that's a really good food to eat out on the bike dried fruits like apricots so something high in sugar okay um, and natural sugars if possible um so like paninis uh with ham or something so a good one is actually a french roll if you take out the the dough inside and just put either ham inside in it or say banana and uh, peanut butter or something like that okay or or a banana with with jam that's that's going to be a pretty good um good thing to, to eat on the bike okay um so the next one is from david so David asks, is an investment in a turbo trainer worth it? Um, basically, it depends, you know, are you caught for time for training? Can you get out in the daylight? Like, I always rather training on the road rather than um, being inside on a turbo trainer, okay? I think one of the biggest benefits to cycling is actually being out in the, being out in the, the air and uh, just enjoying the, you know, the countryside or whatever. Um, so basically, if if you're caught for time then it's going to be fairly hard to do that and one of the only ways to to get on the bike is you know either go to the gym and jump on a on a, a spin bike or something or else uh, get a turbo trainer so it really depends how serious you are about cycling for a start and i mean my i i do think in ireland that a turbo trainer is well worth having okay so um yeah so that's it um so I hope those uh, those answers help, okay? And if anyone has got any more questions, just fire them through. Cheers, guys.